Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Start with a circle whose radius length is equal to 12. In each semicircle, inscribe a circle that passes through the center of the large circle. Let each of these circles have radius length equal to b. Then, inscribe a circle that's tangent to these two circles and the large circle, and let its radius length be equal to a. Finally, inscribe a circle in the semicircle that's tangent to the diameter, tangent to the large circle, and tangent to the circle with radius length equal to b. Let this radius length be equal to c. The question is what is a plus b plus c equal to? I thank David for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. What's fun about this problem is the three radius lengths are an increasing order of difficulty to calculate them. Let's start with the radius length b. Construct a diameter of this circle, which has length equal to 2b. This is exactly a radius of the large circle, so 2b is equal to 12, which means b is equal to 6. Starts out easy enough. Now let's calculate the value of a. Construct the following right triangle, where one leg is equal to b. The hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the radii, so its length will be a plus b. What's the length of the other leg of this right triangle? We know that this length is equal to a, and a radius of the large circle is equal to 12. So the other leg will have length equal to 12 minus a. Since we have a right triangle, we have the square of a plus b is equal to b squared plus the square of 12 minus a. Substituting in that b is equal to 6, we can simplify this equation, and we can work out that a is going to be equal to 4. So now let's work out the value of c. We will first construct the following radius of the large circle. This will have length equal to 12. Next construct this radius, which has length equal to c. Now we have a right triangle here, where one leg is equal to c. The length of the hypotenuse will be the length of the radius of the large circle minus the length of the radius of the small circle, so its length will be equal to 12 minus c. Let the length of the other leg be equal to x. Now let's solve for x squared. Since we have a right triangle, x squared is equal to the square of 12 minus c minus c squared. We can simplify this equation to get x squared is equal to 144 minus 24c. Now, let's construct the following right triangle. One leg will be equal to x. The other leg will be the difference in the lengths of the radii, so it will be equal to b minus c. The hypotenuse will be the sum of the radii lengths, so it will be equal to b plus c. Now let's solve for x squared in this right triangle. We have x squared is equal to the square of b plus c minus the square of b minus c. We can simplify this equation to get x squared is equal to 4bc. Now we can substitute in that b is equal to 6. So we have x squared is equal to 24c. So we can now focus on these two equations and we can set them equal to each other. So we have 24c is equal to 144 minus 24c. Simplifying will give that c is equal to 3. So we've solved for the values of a, b, and c. And this gives that a plus b plus c is equal to 4 plus 6 plus 3, and that gives the answer of 13. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.